All right, should be online. Just want to make sure everything's in order. All right, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This makes a lot of noise, <laughs> but I now that should be all right. Okay, let me just that, and then uh, make a tweet. <laughs> ah. Let's see here. Just a shit. Adjust a setting real quick. Or actually, there's wrong setting. Um, there should be an audio setting. Hmm. All right, weird. But yeah, let's wake up. All right. So before we head off, let's have a congratulatory congratulate congratu <laughs> Ah, let's have a let's remember all right this isn't boating well uh, that's good all right let's get to the ship and put on my gear, Get my ship log. Oh ho ho. Alright, Bramble Island. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to, to Dark Bramble. That was fun. And then. Tower of Quantum Trials. This tower held knowledge a gnome I needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. And there's more to explore here. A good job. <laughs> a good job, Malo. Yes. Alright. Let's pull up. Um... Giant's deep. Let's engage autopilot. All right, I'm feeling good about today. Ah, uh, we. The, the only bad thing is that once we clear Giant's deep. The next place to go to will be 
a dark bramble. And that's that's gonna be both exciting and terrifying. Oh no, no hey, the uh, island is <laughs> orbiting. Let's see here, if I remember correctly, I want to be... I'm at the South Pole. I think I want to be at the North Pole. I th think it's North... It's hard to tell. Okay. Wrong pole. Oh, wait, no. Was it the... Let's uh, get back down in here, and let's try to visually find it. This should be the biggest. Okay, if it's not near the South Pole, then it's definitely north. Press on. And yeah, I love the gravity landing pads. They are such a nice touch. Though that makes me wonder does this. Um, I can't just jump around everywhere. say, uh, did this island get shot up in the air? I don't think it would, because this storm is just perpetually steady. But, I mean, like, you know, things can change. Especially since the Nomai must have built this, uh, what, over 240, or 240 thousand years ago? Plus? So, like, Things can go buck wild in that amount of time. Yeah, this is just. Yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking. Oh, what did I say? Wrong button. I wanted to toggle something manual. Because I think I'll want this for what's, uh, get it. Because that, you know, the previous venture into here. I kind of got annoyed with having to switch between, or oh, trying to keep up my uh, my camera, my scout up, while also then immediately being all like out walk towards a wall with some text on it, and then it's like, well, that's what you want to look at, right? And I'm like, all right. <laughs> also, I just want to say, how did the Nomai go through this? Like, were there, I'm get, were there like, uh, uh, like med? Bay stations so long ago or something or that used to be here because I imagine that like the Harthians are incredibly durable little critters just canonically they're just incredibly durable oh that's fine Jasmine but yeah they're incredibly durable little dudes and I'm just like this can easily, <laughs> if you mess up here, there's parts that can easily kill a Harthian. How the hell would the the Nomai deal with it? Alright. 
And yeah, it's canonical that the Harthians are more reckless than Nomai, but also in the museum. Uh, you know, there, there's like a plaque next to like some uh, a skelet a Nomai skeleton that's like, oh, they look far more fragile than we do, but you know, they're able to accomplish so much that we couldn't. Also, the, if you think the cyclones rebuff each other? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, re. Does this island get eaten? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the only ye exclusive island. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay, I did that in the wrong order. That's the right order. Hello, friend. Yeah, I gotta remember to keep the gravity crystals in camera. But yeah, I mean like this part here, if I can... Uh, here it is. So you start it being automatic. Um, this last one. <laughs> this is the last one, but we made it harder. I mean, I feel like a Nomai, like a Harthian can take the fall at like two times gravity. And... Uh, and maybe live. Let's see here. Thank you, dear. Uh, okay, it's just same thing. Woo, that's spicy. In case something wanders around here. Hello. Final Fantasy fanfare. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. Oh yeah, I can change the option back now that I'm not afraid. Hmm. I can leave the tower. Yeah. Oh, real quick. Um, I love that. Yeah, you can get some art of them. Their spacesuits, but yeah. We offer our congratulations. Congratulations. God, why is saying that word so weird? <laughs> You've learned the role of quantum imagine of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on your re remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. There it is. The eye of the universe. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Yeah, they do. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I'm just gonna 
read this in chat from Pidman. I think it's specifically Hourglass Twin native and Brittle Hollow native Nomai both reaching for the Quantum Moon. And I think you're right. Like, I haven't really been paying too much attention to the colors of their spacesuits, but I think that does, like, work. That, like, uh, that, huh, yeah, I think that, yeah, some of them do have blue spacesuits and the others have green. Ah, that's, that's a nice touch. And then... <laughs> Quantum imaging. Yep. God, can you imagine? No, technically, it is possible to get here first. So it makes sense why, it's like, remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Because you technically could have gone here, like, immediately at the beginning of the game. But yes, yep. Vilani, you bring up a good point. Let's look in the ship's log, uh, the purple entry specifically, to recall our quantum lessons. Let's see here. Nomai named Coleus was standing on the wandering rock when another Nomai's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. They travel with the quantum object. I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings. Meaning I must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum role to escape the cave he was trapped in. Calais and Mallory return to examine the rock. They theorize that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to observe his or her surroundings, the being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they both move together. Oh yeah, and the Nomai noticed on uh, Emperor Twin noticed the wandering rock. And... And all the quantum rocks emit the same fluctuation frequency. And yes, the phantom moon uh, is also a quantum object that is theorized that all the quantum shards came from the quantum moon. Which is interesting, because if you try to land on it normally, you just land on a cloud. And the quantum moon will shift about its positions across this uh, solar system. Uh you know, from all the different planets here. And including a secret sixth location, which is believed to be the eye of the universe. So yes, I can't... To travel with a quantum object, I must be observing it. Or alternative, or inversely, a quantum object can move away when it's not being observed, which we learned taking a photo of something makes it observed in its current position, according to this. And yes, the quantum shrine has to be on. Uh, the quantum shrine. That was. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole, which means that it too can shift about on the quantum moon. It's the Lion's Shuttle. Oh! I forget if the shuttle has a 
or not. I'll get that out later. Alright. Oh. oh. Feldspar. When I launch my scout into... Yeah. It's a reminder that he went there. Oh. Ah, yes. So it's the strong current beneath this ocean that prevents anything from sinking below. The Nomai on the construction yard saw something sink beneath the underwater current, which they previously thought was impossible. And I now know that there is one uh, cyclone on Giant's Deep that goes counterclockwise, and that's the one that will bring you under the current. Oh. Sorry to hear about your internet causing problems. Yes, other than... Alright, so I think what I want to do is hit up the ocean steps and just take care of Giant Steep and then hit up the orbital probe cannon and actually clear out all the modules. Because I think after that I'll either want to maybe poke something up here Uh, what did I want to poke up here? There's something I was thinking about, like... Uh, I forgot my train of thought. What do you mean there's another location I haven't visited yet? Oh! Quantum Moon, huh. I mean, there's the Dark Bramble, I know. But I wanted... I was thinking of... <laughs> If I could find an excuse to uh, poke something else. Oh yes, I was thinking of the shuttle. I forgot to check if it had a... The viewport was normal or not. Oh, I... You know now everything to reach the moon? I do know everything to reach the moon. Well, I'll be. Yeah, I do know everything to reach the moon. Now I know that I can keep it in place by taking a photograph of it. Fuck, yeah, I know everything to reach the moon. Well, I'll be. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Wild. Anyway, <laughs> huh, I could reach the quantum moon. But I think I want. Because the quantum moon feels like takes me to the eye of the universe. Well, obviously, that's that's the only way I can get there, I believe. Yes, yeah, so the quantum moon disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Carry them to its sixth and most secret location. And the sixth location is believed to be the eye of the universe. I think, like, after I clear out uh, these two, I may want to hit up Dark Bramble. And then the quantum moon. Okay, I didn't. Oh, are you suggesting I go to the quantum moon first or something? Because. Damn it. Sorry, Twitch was being weird and scrolled up the chat when I didn't mean to. But yeah. I did say I wanted to stay away from Dark Bramble, but I mean, the Quantum Moon has been something I've been both dreading and looking forward to going- Oh, not the Quantum Moon. Alright, the Dark Bramble has been something I've been kind of dreading to explore. But, I'm also excited, because now I know there's someone there. That's obviously not counterclockwise. Am I, am I going to prove that I'm blind and I can't tell if something's rotating the opposite direction? Okay, counterclockwise, there, clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Wait, you're going counterclockwise. Let's. Um.
one thing you want to check is the infographic on how to use the scout deer in your ship. What are you talking? Um, okay, now I'll do that in a bit. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh, the infographic shows using the scout to test cyclones. Okay, well... <laughs> that's... That's gorgeous. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's a jelly! I hear electricity sounds. I mean, ooh, I'm... The sound of electricity is pretty spicy here. Oh! Oh! What? 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 Did it get ejected? Um, can I go in there? That's gorgeous. Phew. <laughs> Let me pause to read the chat. Because I'm just so enamored with this. I I didn't know what to expect. Uh, strange that the scout does that, considering it has no muscles to spontaneously yeet itself with, which is why electricity normally throws humans away. Huh. No, you... You, you got a point. It... Phew. Phew. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm afraid to put my ship into the. Hmm. You see, I've. Hmm. Where? Where is it? What are you doing, Scout? Pew. Hmm. <sighs> Lesson. Lesson's time. You have time to experiment. Well, um... Ah, this is so cool. Let's see if I die. Mm. Mm, I don't like that. Um. Fuck it. Um. Let's see if I can eat it. Oh. Um, exit ship to repair electrical systems. Well, where? Oh, God damn it! Do I? Can I do that safely? Um. Hmm. Can I do that safely? They're on the ship's butt. Hmm. 
something bump me. Oh, hey. Huh. Okay, so I got ejected, it seems. Alright, so... Lesson one of... Uh, no idea how much. Great, now to do some weird... some weird claw hand stuff to make that work. But alright, so if I tried to land there, it'll fry my uh, electrical. Uh, actually, am I being launched? Yes, actually. Kinda. Uh, let's check my log. I thought this would be really easy to check out. No, it's really amazing. Um, Alright, the ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Huh. And it eats me if I try to get too close. Which is interesting, because we have saw a frozen, uh, the Bramble Island. Yeah, it's definitely brambled, and, like, these kind of thorny, uh, vines and such, you know, suggest the, uh, dark bramble, but the jellyfish just seems to be, like, ch whoa, hmm. Then again, maybe the jellyfish do come from... The, uh... Huh. Huh, maybe the jellyfish... Hmm, because I was thinking, like, oh, that's weird. Because, uh... We know there's some ice chunks that came from... The planet that, uh... Wrong one. That, you know, the Dark Bramble wasn't always the Dark Bramble. It used to be, like, a planet. Until the, the brambly bits grew out from the center of the planet itself. And, you know, it used to be covered in ice, and that ice got sh sent everywhere, so... Hmm. Know what? Yes, I would like some... Know what, Pitman? I would like some baseless speculation from the community. Yeah, sure. Because I'm kind of wondering... Were the jellyfish native to whatever the Dark Bramble were? Until they got yeeted here, and then some... You know, they got yeeted far enough into the core of the planet that they're able to just vibe? That's core. Because that kind of makes sense to me. Cause alternatively, I was thinking that maybe the jellyfish were native to Dark Bramble, and that's what the uh, anglerfish would eat. Goodbye, friend. Alright. And to read what Pittman wrote, let's see here. The planet that used to be furthest from the sun was dubbed Planet X by, I think, the game writers, and the speculation is that it used to be a frozen shell around a liquid center with anglers and jellies inside. Oh! Then the bramble grew, blew it up, and sprayed everywhere, such as the giant patches of ice on the Atarok. You know what? That's some... Um... Now what? Ah, other than the fact that I hate the anglerfish, that does... that does track, and that actually kind of reminds me of the, uh, the real-life moon of Europa, which is, uh, you know, completely frozen, has a very thick frozen shell, but at its center it is filled with, like, liquid, I believe liquid water. 
So, like, oh, and also for the real life Europa, uh, the moon of Jupiter, yeah, the moon of Jupiter, like, it's speculated that there's, there may be extraterrestrial life on there, because it can get energy, it can be heated from all the radiation and, you know, tidal forces and other things, but I know a big part of it is, like, the radiation coming off of Jupiter, uh, I believe, at least. You know, you may want to uh, fact, check, fact check me on that. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, it has some nutrients, it has water, and it has an energy source. So, the idea of there being life on Europa does actually uh, make some sense. But, you're talking about infographs. <laughs> the radiation from Jupiter gave an extra thingy, like, right back. Hi, oh, yeah, you were saying uh, infograph about the... Uh... Ah, oh, here it is. See beyond the horizon. Huh, on Alter Rock. Illuminate dark areas. Detect hazards. Test the environment. Ooh. Yeah. Ha, huh, that's cute. No, it makes me wonder. Uh yeah, never mind. I was about to say, like not developed, but let's see here. Going clockwise, here going clockwise. Here going clockwise. now, since we don't have the information to get past the... Is that shit? No, I, yeah, that makes sense. I just need to find the damn thing. Because... Clockwise... Clockwise... Hmm. I feel like I'm blind. Then again, I forgot where I was. It is so haunting and beautiful down there. Hello, shipyard. Whoa! Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that would have been a fun way to go. Just have... <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> Just <laughs> annihilating me. Gabro <laughs> about a fucking pin drop. <laughs> ah. Try and sneak. Uh, rain. I feel like I, this should be easier than I'm making it. Oh, wait, it's you. No. Well. Okay. I feel like I'm getting impatient. Also, I forgot where on the... Okay, I think it may have been the south hemisphere. And again, I can't... Well, I got bonked by something. Scout till I find it. Oh, so another achievement is to go fast heading towards Science Deep. That you were bypassed the repelling field fully. Huh. Wait. 
Go so fast, We're heading towards Giant's Deep. Oh, that you bypassed the current. Hot damn. Hmm. Not the shock shield. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that sounds... Ooh, that sounds like something worth trying. But first... We did some science. Hey. Sorry, Slay. <laughs> I wanna shake the head like this is how you get <laughs> Okay. Well, let's fucking go. Let's... Ah! No! I'm so close! Ah! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Alright, let me read what you had to say about it. Let's see here. The speed for the Chibi is like ridiculous. I usually had to go outside the solar system to get the runoff needed. Holy cow. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you can accelerate to some ludicrous speeds. But, like. Hot damn, that. Hot damn. Um. You know what? Let's. Can I land this somewhere so that I know I won't lose it? No, probably not. Oh, I think it'll land relatively close by. Let's go talk to a friend. I wish uh, <laughs> Satin was here. So that we can talk about the fave. Yeah, bro. Well, if, <laughs> if it isn't my time, buddy, how Space Tree knew this loop? Uh. I found something. I found, I found the source of the time loop. Wait. Whoa. Wait. Uh, what was the voice? More kind of. Wait. Whoa. Really? The Nomai carved out the Ash Twin and built a time loop device inside? That is. Wild. Now we know what's causing the loop, then. And if it's caused by a device, then it must mean it had to be switched on, right? Huh. Hey, what do you think would happen if we turned off the time loop? Like, there's a part of me thinks maybe you shouldn't? With with the sun blowing up and all. Then again, who wants to spend an eternity being blown up by the sun? Well, <laughs> I'm no time loop expert. I'm just gonna sit here and ponder the intricacies of uh, time and space. Maybe take a nap, too, if I feel like it. <laughs> Got Rose Space, California. I mean, I believe it. <laughs> Found something. Uh... Not yeah. I found the Know My Mask inside the Ashwin Project. He's saying the statues were made so memories could be sent back in time? I guess that makes sense, considering we both have our memories every loop we've gone through. Wait, then it's just our memories being sent back in time to us, right? Then, are we really experiencing multiple time loops? Or not? That's pretty deep. Like, maybe our consciousness have been 
through all these loops, but maybe our bodies haven't, because technically, the loops never happened. Meaning, we're receiving memories of things that will never happen to us. Cool. Huh. <laughs> oh god, you gotta visit Giant's Deep as wicked waves surfs up. I mean, surfing here would be hell. <laughs> I mean, okay, if there's like... I know there's like America's Funny Some Videos. I don't know if that exists in other parts of the world, but... If there, if that existed here, it'd be interesting to think of. of just someone trying to surf while there's two times gravity. Also, wait, aha, it's you. How did I miss? You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Let's go. And this swing. <laughs> nice. Also, lights off. No. Can I... I can't take just a normal picture? I forgot about that. Oh, what? It got through? No? Okay. There you go, little buddy. <laughs> Yeah, that figure sounds fun. Yeah, the red light is the... It's kind of like a plasma ball. You know, that you can touch with your fingers and, like, the electricity sparks everywhere. It's like where the, uh... The differential in charge is building up. I think that's the technical term for it, but yeah. Ah, uh, the Hendegraaff generator, yes. Ah, uh, this is gorgeous, but also, I want to go inside. What? Let's go. Wait, no, if I shoot it at the jelly, it also gets bonked. And it can't get bonked into there. You're so cool, but you would kill me. Or er, you'd take out my electrical systems if I touched you. That's so gorgeous. Ah, I love this, but it's like. Part of me wonders if, like, the, uh. If, you know, you're meant to be able to go inside or not. <sighs> That's gorgeous. Goodness. Like, it, it does not like you <laughs> getting close to it. Uh, do we want to check out the probe cannon now? No, I... yeah... Yeah... <laughs> I sound defeated, but it's just... This is amazing! And I want to check it out, or send my probe in there. But, uh... Yeah, no, it just... now, let's head back. Let's see here. 
Let's land in here. Just so that I can get my bearings. Or, no, I can't. No, I can't log on to that from here. Never mind. But yeah, there's a frozen jelly. I love that this game is like, ah, you bypassed one unpenetrable bar barrier. Good job. Have another. And yeah, no, it's just straight up. Just like the old prospector in fucking Mad Dog McGree. I have never heard of that. Oh, hey. Just what I was. No. Alright, let's. Nice shot, Pilgrim. Try another one. Yeah, you'll have to send me a clip. But I thought I was unbuckled. I'm okay, I thought I was going to be uh, dunked in there. Let's go. Let's see which ones I can uh, get to from in here before I go on the spacewalk. Thank you, dear. I see the notification from Discord. Pro tracking module. Okay, that's the one that got blasted in space. I can wrong button. I can uh, turn back on the control module. module giant steep have I read this one before oh, okay yes I have read this before yeah I think I visited at the end of the loop also I love these nerds in love and yeah, this is them figuring out that, like, oh, hey, <laughs> that we're going to be ignoring the power setting. <laughs> I love these dangerous science nerds. Okay, that's the, uh... Ah, this is the one that's launching the space. The, uh, I forgot what it's called. But yeah. Uh, th look carefully in this view to know how to get in. See, that's... I think there's, ah, there's a crack. Okay. Towards the tail end of it, there's a crack. Yeah, that's... That's the launch module. That's the control module, I believe. I forget. And there's... 
Oh. Ah. <laughs> Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. 12 minutes 21 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Huh. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Interesting. Interesting. And then it broke apart. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch re request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving. Da oh, probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Warning: Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Orbital probe cannon. Damage report. Several structural stress detected. No, severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module. Intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module. Missing. Interesting. Probe tracking. Alright. Probe tracking missing. Intact. Launch module fractured. And it was the probe tracking. Yeah, the probe tracking module is the one that is getting the information from the probe. Alright. Alright. Bonk. Um, okay, I'm still alive. Oh. Neat. Bonk module. Yeah. Interesting. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that much gravity for some reason. Come on. Also, I'm having trouble connecting to chat. Hmm. Pro tracking module. That's one lost space. Launch module. Also, uh, hmm. can I refresh the chat? I think because it says that I'm trying to connect the chat. Um, which is bizarre. Now let me check some real quick.
if I can see. Great. But there's not much I can do on the Xbox to lower it, and it's already set to automatic. Let me just on that. I can't chat. Uh, it shows I'm still alive on the Xbox at least. Uh, am I alive? Still alive. Th connected and excellent. That's weird. Um, I'm having issues connecting to chat. I think I'm gonna reload the stream manager. See if I can connect to chat. Because Discord is also loading on my end. So I can't <laughs> send messages through that. Should be connected. I am connected to the Wi Fi. Yeah, I am connected. Just, uh, all right. Keep streaming, or I could just stop the stream, maybe. Try to. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I had to... Things are going all right. Actually, would be smart would be to show the player. If I can see how things are going. Hmm. I'm gonna pause for a bit just because uh these weird difficulties. Weird, it, you know, yeah, I'm still waiting for this to load. Not sorry for the, if anyone's still watching, while this is, uh, technical difficulties are going on.
Okay, I can't see Discord on my laptop, but I'm gonna check my phone real quick. Again, sorry for this. Just really bizarre, because according... Er, yeah. According to my laptop, I and according to Xbox, I'm still connected, I'm still streaming on Twitch, it's just that I cannot connect to my own chat. Don't push off so hard. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> uh, nice. Let's see here. Oh, typing on my phone. Like, this is so weird. The fact that, according to Xbox, I'm live on Twitch. Twitch itself. All right, so all right, so if the stream, uh, all right, all right, I got confirmation that the stream is still going, so I guess I'll keep going. It's just weird that uh, I can't really. Well, okay, I guess I do the. Okay. Still not connected to chat, but I uh, time to keep going, I guess. I have you have science to do. Drop that on the ground. Control module. And yeah, this is where I was. Yeah. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The launch module. Okay, I think I'm beginning to connect. Hard to tell. Uh, okay. Pro tracking module. Okay, sorry, just uh, the stream manager on Twitch is having a, a dizzy. Uh, anyway, Malo, <laughs> imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. <laughs> I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask, you won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? <laughs> Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need it to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I, uh, I would mind, Malo. I wouldn't mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Wah, wah, wah. And yeah, this is Pro Dragon Module. 
Wait. You're kidding. You're kidding. Wait, there's another statue with open eyes. And also, uh... Yeah, Twitch is having a bad one. But, oh, no way. No way. Do I have to get here early? How? Ah, oh, this is tight. Huh. How? Hmm. Nerds being in love. But launch module, this one. Does that have anything? Oh no, I'm connected to the same. Made the same direct call at the same place. Oh boy. Uh. Yeah, no, this, the tube computer display here is kind of, uh, broken. Hello, Gabra. Um, kitty, calm down. Sorry, <laughs> I can't make some ruckus. But, hmm. Well then. Well then. Well. All right. Yeah, I thought there's there's more to be had. Wait. Wrong way. More to be had when it came to the. Uh, Anything up there that no, I don't think there's anything up there that can be of use. But well, this uh, this this adds quite a bit to uh, of the ship. <sighs> also, I'm still surprised I'm showing up as being, uh, live. <laughs> but, oh well. here. Yeah, the the stream manager is kind of fucked right now. Like, a lot of things just fail to load in oddly enough. I mean, this let's see here. Yeah. It's trying reloading it right now, but it's just weird. And yeah, Discord and laptop still messing up. Bizarre. Well, I can still see my uptime on there, so that's something.
know what? Let me try something real quick on the laptop since it's uh just kind of cycling the the Wi-Fi on the laptop to see if that helps. <laughs> okay, the connection established. Let's... Because I'd love to be able to re-chat. But okay. Okay, should soon. Good, I can now chat via my phone. <laughs> Just kinda awkward. Do <sighs> control module. The control module recently received a request from Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. Yeah, it is. The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. A Nomai named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised, since they only needed it to fire the probe once. I know my name, Privet. Every time I read that, I just want to say Privet, just because I'm probably mispronouncing it, but just watching uh, a stream of Stalker called Privet. Well, it's a mod of that game, uh, Stalker Anomaly. But anyway, I named Privet countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was damaged, which, you know, that's fair. And the probe tracking module, oh boy, one of the Ortal Probe Cannon's three modules. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. Any Nomai aboard the probe tracking module would be the first to see coordinates of the eye of the universe. I know my computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. I saw the probe tracking module through the Nomai projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. I can see purple electricity outside the viewport. It fell into the fucking core. Hot damn. Hot damn. I thought this was, I thought we would get through this quickly, but ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh boy. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, these look to be clear for now, but this one. That one was straight up in the core of Giant's Deep. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Have we learned anything about electricity, or specifically how this game handles? Electricity. Let me see on pause. And orbital park on pause. Yeah, those two are on pause. Oh wait. Wait. Feldspar had some notes, I think. About wanting his ship. <laughs> Feldspar wanted some notes about electricity. I I vaguely remember that now. The, on the Bramble Island on Giant Seep. He was like, oh, hey, I need... No, he was talking about Crash... No, oh, maybe. He was... There's something about Crashins and wanting to get his ship suited up, or er, souped up. Hmm. Right, let me get some water real quick. I think I want to go to, giant, to Dark Bramble, actually, and suffer, but also to, uh, oh, what can we clear quick? Uh, uh what were you going to say, Bidman? Or Jazz? I don't know. <laughs> what can we clear?
quickly. Because I'd be down for that. I mean, Dark Bramble seems the way to go, but I, I'm not seeing anything not uncleared. I mean, I mean, we could head up to the Quantum Moon. It's a moon. All right. <laughs> You were talking about head up to the quantum moon. Hmm. No what? No what? I'll no what? I'll refer to you to your judgment for this. Uh, first, let me make sure. My player. Uh. No what? Oh, sorry, I got distracted by stuff on here. Okay, so the chat is still not loading up on the stream manager, but oh well. I can live with that. But I'll refer to to you for this, because I was thinking Dark Bramble, but would it make sense to head up to Giant uh, not Giant Sea, to the Quantum Moon as a more towards like a finale kind of deal? Like, would it be more dramatic of just, like, let's hit up the quantum moon? Or is that, like... Because I guess that's what I'm more interested in. Because, like, I I'm feel, felt like uh, not doing the quantum moon just because, like, it feels like the finale. Like, it feels more like a finale than Dark Bramble, maybe. But I'm not... Sure. Because technically, if I get to... Alright. Ideally, if I were to go to the Dark Bramble, get to Feldspar, get on a ship or something, or however it is to be able to get through the uh, the electrical core on Giant's Deep, and then get the probe data, I would know where the Eye of the Universe is. Which is fascinating. Alright, find Feldspar, then end up with Quantum Moon. Gotcha. Alright. Alright, let's... Let's... Fucking... Let's... Go! Oh, where... There's... Hey, Quantum Moon. Just want to make sure... Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm far enough away from the interlope. For... yes. That I'm not gonna be... Okay. There's a 0% chance that it'll crash into me. Harmonica times. Let's go. I love how, according to the game, I found. Well, technically, I haven't found. But yeah, the ice bramble. Alright, let's. That a fishy? No, that's some. Um... Alright, let's float on by. I hate that red light. Wait, no, they're blind. Oh, 
No, I hate that. Oh, wait, no. <sighs> Let me just be smart. Or, er, as smart as I can be. And, like, see if that leads to somewhere I want to go before I just kind of head off and be eaten by a fish. <sighs> ah, signal scope. Just kind of terrified, but because like I don't know where to look out for anglerfish. Because you know. In here, oh, this place is creepy. Oh. And also, I'm afraid of just having the signal scope out at all times. Just because, from our limited knowledge, the, uh, wait. Hmm. This place is terrifying. The fish are probably blind. But, they can hear. And just... One thousand three hundred... Twenty meters? <sighs> I hate that. So stop getting more or rest lead. Or er, red. It means say lead. Weird. <sighs> they cannot hear the signal scope? Okay, that's good to no. know. I appreciate that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I accidentally bumped on something. Don't like that. That's what the skep was on? Gonna send out to duplicate. Uh, wait. What? That's. Oh, God. Oh, no. Is that their eggs? Unable. <laughs> if I try to open up the map, it's just nah. It has no idea where I am. 
you do not need to go and do the red note today. Oh. Today. Today. Oh, that's horrid. Two kilometers that way. Fuck. is hateful. <laughs> Alright. And again, I can't just be a cow... What was that? What was that? That looked like a fucking centipede. I hated that. I hated that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah, I can't just be a coward, but at the same time, this place is uh, incredibly terrifying. And I hate it. on target, but uh, I hate this place. Alright. Hate, 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 hate. Alright, um, each planet has its own particle effects. Dark Bramble has food for its angler buddies. <laughs> Delightful. Well, let's have some harmonica music to help guide me as I avoid the red glow or whatever the fuck that horrid thing is. Great, uh, but also <laughs> I should <laughs> uh, I should probably never stream. Horror games. I swear I'm hearing a noise and it's freaking me the fuck out. Or it may just be the music being spoopy, which I can hear it breathing. No. Fuck you. Fuck, 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 fuck. No. I refuse. Fuck you. Come on, I was hoping my scout would make some good noise. I'm surprised I survived. <sighs> Let me pause for a second. Did the scout?
come on. Come on. Come on. Is it inside? It's inside. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that'd make you think that it found the noise. Fuck, well, guess not. Alright, why? <sighs> now let's sit in the back of the spaceship. <laughs> go into the cradle position and suffer <laughs> for 20 minutes. Well, I can just meditate if I wanted to. Because I don't know how the... How the hell... I'm getting out of this one. I don't know if I'm fast enough. And it's... Is that its angler? Is that another one? Is its mouth big enough to go across? Oh no, the angler would be above it. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Okay. I hate that part of fact. Let's... Okay, let's... Nothing! No completed things for the Dark Bramble, huh? Alright. Um, leave your shit behind and be very fucking quiet. Uh, that's the thing. I think that it's if I use my uh, jets, like within a certain radius around it, it can hear me. I think that's how it works. And also, god, this fucking noise. I'm surprised I actually live this long, but I mean, I might be able, but that's, that's gonna be a long, alright, so it's below me, because <sighs> okay, this thing is a lot faster than I thought it would be, but, uh, if I was better acquainted with my surroundings, I'd feel more, like, able to just go without the ship, but I don't know where I'm looking for, if, if that makes sense. And also, just any time I would turn around while in my jetpack or in my ship, I would give its attention. So I guess... I think we just try to wing in the ship and stay close to uh, the Bramble. Because, like... I wish I had a gun. <laughs> Follow me. I'm a noise. Okay, so turning like this, but any time a thruster would get its attention. Another adventure. Come on. Whoop. Whoop. Uh. I still don't know how much leeway I have. Alright. I think it's time to be bold. Because I think Feldspar wouldn't it. What on earth?
Is this a maze? God damn it, Feldspar. Jetpack quieter than rocket and ship rockets? You... You have a point there. Duplicate error. <laughs> hey. Hey. I think I found it. God. <sighs> Alright. And yeah, I, I thank you for the compliment. <sighs> uh, now let me take some water. <laughs> I meant drink some water, but whatever. Let's... Let's... Try to... My angle... My angle... Let's... Inch our way forward. Well, yeah, because I have the camera open. It would You know what? I need a... Oh boy, this place is creepy. God, I would be absolutely... <laughs> Even if I played it for my own personal enjoyment, I feel like I'd be partially just... Oh. Why is it getting quiet suddenly? Oh. God damn it. Oh well, you know what? This is this is uh, experience at the very least that showed me the right way to move around here, and also to know that the red signal, not the red, uh, the red light is like the eggs of these horrid abominations. Well, I mean, I was about to say, are they really abominations, or are they just a weird, uh, niche evolutionary thing? But, I mean, it's a dark bramble, and they're thriving in it, so, like, fuck them. <laughs> no fear, anglerfish. One fear. I mean... They do a really good job of just kind of stopping in their tracks. Fuck it. Oh, well, let's see uh, what happens once we're in the dark bramble. Well, I mean, technically, no matter. Let's say time travel happens. Which, time travel will happen, but, like, I'm not seeing any effect in here. Oh, what? Hey, never mind. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> English fish. Ugh. Yeah. Made some real experience, though. Uh, not experience, but yeah. Because for a while, it really wasn't paying attention to me. But it also wasn't paying attention to my, uh... To my little scout, because I was hoping it would, because the scout makes a noise every time it takes a picture. I was hoping that'd be enough. But... We've learned otherwise. That said, the other unfortunate truth of this is that probably a jetpack is much 
quieter than the ship jet like boosters which like that sounds like something that they would add to try to get people <laughs> to fly around in the jet pack and be extra scared oh boy wait did I discover anything okay okay fine um gotta remember how to do this um Get the Dark Bramble. Let's see here. Get the Dark Bramble. Find Feltzbert's signal little scout the area <laughs> uh, try to avoid anglerfish. At least I the only times that I've been in the Dark Bramble, I've only seen one anglerfish in that area. So <laughs> Okay, I had to read this out loud. Last loop on Outer Wilds Z Sounds of anglerfish gnawing at a bramble wall ruby grass. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 Okay, so I did enter from a different side. God, there's so many brambles to get through. Huh. And no other... Because when I came in through the other way, I, I was a lot closer to that red one, I feel like. I don't know. Then again, I can not tell. Okay, I think that may be where I want to head. Or my heading, at least. Because I think that's where I'm wanting to go to, but I think there's a lot less uh, bramble in the way. But okay, let me. I have to think about this because it's hard. All right, so there's a a lot of fog in this area, thus visibility is low, and if I'm moving, I just have to like. You know, ideally, I want to not adjust my thrusters as much as possible. Because adjusting my thruster, <laughs> adjusting my movement equals alerting uh, the guards with, the, no, um, <laughs> alerting the anglerfish. So, I think I want to head towards here. Because it looks like there's less things I would have to... I'm not seeing any anglerfish, but, you know, that's not... I mean, there isn't one nearby, it's just... Yeah. I think I want to head... my heading wants to be towards there so that there's less things. <sighs> Okay, there's a, tr there's like a truck driving past, and like hearing it rattle the uh, the windows, 
didn't help with this at all. Raise eject cover. <laughs> Feels like I'm in goddamn like a No, oh, you got a point. I could potentially sacrifice my ship. But then again, realistically, they they kind of went out of their way to make the eject hard to like accidentally do, but it also makes it harder to do on purpose. Because you have to look at your ship, you have to look around like this, and then look at here, then you have to raise the cover, then you have to hit the button. Which, I'm guessing if you're doing it solid motion, you know, like, ah, uh, try to maneuver carefully here, tap this twice. Which, eh, I don't know, like, I feel like <laughs> it doesn't really serve its purpose as an eject button. If you can't, like, use it immediately. Like, just, there's no uh, button on the controller to just, like, slam the eject button and just, like, to, you know, to do it in one motion. Oh boy, I hate this. But I feel like this is probably my best shot to get in there. Look, aim, smash X twice. True, but at the same time, if I'm like, ah, then I have to carefully move it. And this is me just trying to do it in one tug of the analog stick. I mean, I guess you can do that, like, down, right? Even then, I missed it. <laughs> so it's not, like, precise. But yeah, I feel like it, it, it's not that good of an eject. Yeah, I can enter the node. I'm just kind of terrified. Did this produce noise? Audible. I was about to say to see cucumber for some reason. Um, to my enemy. <sighs> Alright. I don't think it's here right now? But... I mean, these things can move fast, but I need to move faster. What? Also, I don't know... Right. need to... move a bit closer... I still love that. Can I hook it in there? Alright, no. I can't quite get it hooked in there, but from last time, I'm sure this will get me to where I need to go. Let's boost. Watch out for danger. I'd be so pissed if there's... No, I'm not gonna say it. If you can't hear anglerfish breathing, you're safe. 
Okay, you, if, you, if the enemy can't hear you, if you can't hear them. I'm sorry, but that reminds me of that, uh... What was it called? That meme. And not meme, yeah, it's like... Uh, where it's like... A guy... Oh, what was that meme like, actually? Sorry for pausing, but... It, look, I'm talking about memes. This is the part here. Um... Where it's like tapping like two fingers to like the forehead and like and it would be like if you <laughs> like some goofy thing like oh like if you know if X then Y you know kind of like oh if your enemy can't hear you then you can't hear or if you can't hear them they can't hear you or something I don't know it reminds me of uh, it's overlapping three times. Uh, what? What happened? Well, it's the right place. But it's... It's having a rough one. Oh, wow, that gets me right where I need to go. Or no, no. I, I appreciate the help. And yeah, it makes sense that there's no anglers here if Feldspar is uh, jamming on the harmonica. It's just, yeah, no. It's <laughs> I when I, whenever I'm in the dark bramble, I rather believe that nowhere is safe than anywhere is safe. If that makes sense. Like, like, also, am I in three places at once? I mean, that's sick as hell. But that is so bizarre. Oh. But oh yeah, I was thinking, am I in three places at once? Because, like, the duplication error happened twice. Also, this is so amazing. Smart. I mean, technically, I can leave my ship anywhere, so I don't need to really park it. But I, it's just a habit, you see. I'm mad. I have my <laughs> not my man. Uh, man, uh, I'm just excited about this. Check out the node in the middle of the fossil. You might be surprised. Might be. This looks like on uh uh The node in the middle looks similar to the thing or the seed that's on uh at uh, Timber Hearth, but let me drink some water. <laughs> oh, I forgot what kind of voice I gave them. Um. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> For some reason, I just thought about Crash Bandicoot. Um. Whoa! Ah, uh, where did he come from? No, <laughs> no one's come here, and well. Ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut. And you haven't blown yourself up yet? 
Good for you. Feldspar, you are alive, you son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're hatching off a gun. Uh, you're never the prize hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? <laughs> you crashed? But you're the greatest pilot in Harthian history. I haven't lived in polite science. <laughs> I haven't lived in polite si a society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this. I was finished exploring the Cory Trans Deep. I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one's ever uh, been before. Getting around Dark Bramble is easy, mind you. Once you dodge one massive interdimensional vein, <laughs> bustling the thorns, you dodge them all. But, uh, but after a while, I ran into this huge anglerfish. You seen them? Big, gnarly things. And after this, after this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull full, st I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparkling like crazy. If you either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to pull, put a little distance between me and my polar fried ship. I camped out here when I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. Uh, Would have been stupid not to use it. So I've moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Can't believe you didn't die. I can't believe you destroyed the ship. No wonder there's so many stories about you back home. <laughs> yeah, no, this right. This feels right. Yeah, yeah. Feldspar has been to the core. Yeah, I remember them talking about it on their note on uh, the Bramble Island. That, like, something about they visited the core. I didn't know if they gone through to it, but something I vaguely remember something about like wanting to shoot soup up their ship after uh, excuse me, some crashes ah. ah, no wonder there's so many stories about you back home <laughs> you're not half bad yourself making it here in one piece, anyway that's how it all went down, Hatchlin story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while or don't, fire not going anywhere I think uh, fuck. <laughs> There's a lot I want to talk about. Now right, let's milk this loop for what's worth. Also, let me pet a cat for a second. Uh, damn. All right. Um, let's do everything else. Where where should I explore here? No, let's let's start from the top. I found something. Lay it on me, Hatchling. I found a oh, I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. Oh, that's that's bad business, Hatchling. For some reason, my voice keeps changing. No, for some reason, my brain is thinking of Guy Fieri, even though I'm not doing a Guy Fieri voice. And it's not like he has like a or weird accent or anything, but like, I, I don't know. Either way, uh, that's bad business, Hatchlin. As Chert will tell you, will tell you as much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction. There used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If you don't get that seed you found sorted real quick, like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading toward the same fate. And I tell you what, we Harthians have overcome far too much to be outdone in by some worthless seed. Hey, Ashlyn, pull up a marshmallow stick. Come to hear my tales of my heroic exploits, have you? Lay it on me. I found no my writing saying anglerfish are blind. Aha! So the blasted things do have a weakness. <laughs> Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it. <laughs> All's well. At least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, eh, Hatchlin? Uh, we should explore here. That's spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that space is weird here. Intensely. Ever, ever tried throwing your probe into one of these weird seeds? See there with a little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you the probe, the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong. 
Exactly. Because space doesn't work right in here. The sea looks small, but inside, it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those speeds, those seeds. Ah, ex expands as you go through each sphere. Interesting. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost for inside forever. Good luck. Oh boy. Hey, Hatchlet. <laughs> Um, alright, I just clicked that one. You reached the core with Giant Steep? How do you do it? Giant Steep's core, huh? Ah, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kinda feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were to, I'd take a walk to see where it ends. You'd want to go you'd want to go to the tail end of this angler fish skeleton and have a look for a flickering right uh flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Huh. 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 Interesting. Dark bramble or fourth dimensional seeds. I mean I would I mean, I'd probably argue that they're probably more than fourth dimensional. I mean, they're wild. Anyway, <laughs> where's your ship? Not far from here. As a matter of fact, if you go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flickering, flickering light in the fog. Follow that and you'll find my old ship. What's left of it, anyway? What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this angler must have been chewing on this, on the vine and eating the seed. And then the seed grew and grew in, in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find. The light keeps the... This... The light keeps the fish away. The light keeps the fish away, you know. See, they're territorial, so they'll mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Interesting. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, should I tell you know this has been fun, but should I tell Ground Control to come get you? Well, well, well yeah, uh, sure. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like out here, quiet, peaceful, ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. Right. Let's. What's marshmallow? We've done science. Fish bone stew. Oh yeah, and they have just regular they have uh low textured fish. And yeah, that looks like the seed. Ooh. That looks... That looks just like the seed that's on. And I hear Feldspar coming from it. Yeah. away since they're mostly territorial. <sighs> I 
Oh, it's also an electrical hazard? Yeah, that makes sense why it's blinking so much. Error, duplicate signal scout. Scout is having a bad time. Hmm. That said, go for most. Yeah, fine. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> go for mosey in the vine. Oh yeah, he said that's where it starts, right? Let me pause. Uh, poor bubs. Yeah. Head towards spark and go for a walk. Okay, then go for a walk. Okay, I forgot about that last step. I thought he just told me to go look at the. Uh... go uh, look at his ship, which I think I may have an idea. I think I need to have my electrical system Oh, uh, what? Uh, I just don't want you to go for so much trouble. Stress, uh, to go for so much travel stress getting here again. Uh, I don't like this fog. Uh, where am I? Shard. I'm on giants. Where am I? Uh, my ship is apparently. I am. I'm somewhere. Three minutes oxygen. Parsley frozen jelly. 
Ah. Oh, trip four. Entry number. Uh, trip four. Question mark. Entry number. I ain't gonna say not one. Crashes. Three. Boring crashes. Zero. Personal best. Whoa. <laughs> Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant Seep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blar, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right. I'm gonna get. I'm going inside the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if there's if <laughs> what's in there tastes any better. Okay, not electrical hazard. Inside of it, or they just hello. Oh, sorry, I heard a cat <laughs> start cleaning herself. Flipped out because I just heard a weird, like, wet noise. I'm like, ah. No, note to Feldspar, do not eat this, even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this was the last thing you ever ate in your life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Huh. For insulation. Oh. The center of it doesn't hurt me. That's what I'm getting from this. The tentacles itself, I think, probably hurt. Let me... science. Science. Hmm. Yeah, do jellyfish insulate from electricity? Also, I love how absolutely confused the game is of where I am. Because I'm technically not in the... I am both in and not in the Dark Bramble. Is this a shortcut? Maybe. I have to look into that. But... Huh. They certainly bounce the scout away when you shoot at their side. Yeah, that's why I, I had to go into the center. Yeah. I think it's the tentacles that are electrifying. Oh boy. Excuse me, Mom. Goodness. And also, I noticed that we took an extra long inhale or extra long breath from that death. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end it soon. Just some congratulatory marshmallows. And then, uh, get to check my notes to see how much of Dark Bramble has been filled out. Don't need that. Feldspar's camp. Frozen jellyfish. Feldspar's alive. They crashed their ship and is now camping inside a huge anglerfish skeleton. Feldspar doesn't think my scout's tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that Space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Feldspar does sound overly eager, eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. 
Feldfar uh, documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish, uh, jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish insides from getting zapped by electricity. Feldfar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the inside. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldfar concluded that th these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Yeah, now there's still a lot to go here. The vessel, escape pod three. <sighs> okay. Made some good progress. And yeah, I, I found it interesting that when I was over here, I was somewhere complete. I was in some bizarre place in space. Like, it showed my ship being, like, down here, and I was, like, over here. Yeah, there's no other entrance down there, right? Just trying to see if I can scope one out from the map. But yeah. Interesting. But yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This has... Alright, I started late just having to deal with some things, but oh boy. Oh, the dark patch under the sun is just where the dark bramble interior is in the game code? Really? <laughs> I mean, no way, that kind of works. That kind of works, because it just looks bizarre that you're just... Because while I was in the dark bramble pro proper, question mark, like, it, the game's just like, no, your map can't find you. As no, no one has any clue where in fourth dimensional space time you even are. You're just, you exist, but that's, that's all you know. But yeah, about <laughs> it, it's the extent of it. Yep. But yeah, anyway, ah, <laughs> this has been fantastic. And I, I was kind of pussyfooting it in the dark bramble, but I mean, like there's giant fish that can eat me, but yeah, I've this has been exciting. This has been wonderful, and thank you, thank you all for watching. <laughs> ah, oh my goodness, I can't wait to get back to this, and maybe if things go right, I can uh, stream on some more days. But yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll put this uh, vod up on YouTube and other places as well. And you can check my link tree, you know, link tr.ee slash kittycatart for, you know, YouTube and or for the YouTube link in other places as well. Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, this is fantastic.